तो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ डेवलपर्स एंड कोडर्स क्लब एंड आई टी दिस इज अपसेक वर्मा एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द लेटेस्ट लीड कोड कॉन्टेस्ट प्रॉब्लम द नेम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज डिस्टिंग प्राइम फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एरे तो लेट एस गो थ्रू द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन एन एरे ऑफ पॉजिटिव इन टीजर नम्स रिटर्न द नंबर ऑफ डिस्टिंग प्राइम फैक्टर्स इन द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द एलिमेंट ऑफ नम्स ओके सो वाट दे आर सेंग इज मीन्स दे हैव गिवन एन एरे ऑफ इन टीजर्स एंड फर्स्ट वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई ऑल दीज इन टीजर्स and then we have to return the prime factors of that result okay so let us go through the first test case so it is given that uh, 2 4 3 7 10 and 6 so first we have to multiply all these numbers so the result is 10080 10. then we have to return all the prime prime factors of this number means we have to return all the prime factors of 10080 okay the, you can also see the example number 2 means we have 2 4 8 and 16 so if we multiply 2 4 8 and 16 then it will be 1 0 2 4 and we have to return the prime factors of 1 0 2 4 okay so this is only 2 okay so means we have to return the number of prime factors means not prime factor we have to return the number of prime factors so how can we do so the prerequisite for this problem is you have to know little bit about prime factors prime numbers and uh, a little bit about c and that's enough to understand this problem okay so as you see means either we can multiply all these numbers and then find the prime factors or we can find the uh, or we can find the prime factors individually and take only the distinct prime factors okay means what i'm saying let's i can explain means let us suppose i have the numbers 2 5 and 6 and i have to find all the prime factors of the product of these numbers okay so if i product all of them then it will be 5 to the 10 6 just 60 so it will be 60 so if i if if i want to find all the prime factors of 60 so it will be 2 3 and 5 okay means i can just find it manually not any algorithm so it will be 2 3 and 5 so now if i can find all the prime factors individually so the prime factors of 2 are 2 the prime factors of 4 5 is 5 and for 6 it will be 2 and 3 so it will be 2 and 3 means it's not 23 it is 2 and 3 okay so now if i take all the distinct num distinct number among these numbers then it is also same and you see so we don't need to multiply all the numbers means if we have if we can find all the prime factors of the numbers individually and we can take only the distinct number then it will give the same result okay why because because if we multiply all these numbers okay then as you see it doesn't matter means 60 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 means 60 can be written as okay so what i am doing is i am just pre computing the prime numbers up to 1000 so why only 1000 so let us see from the question means it is given in the question that the range of numbers is between 2 to 1000 so that's why i am pre computing the prime numbers up to 1000 okay so i can do it with the help of sieve means i am making a sieve and i can store all the prime numbers up to 1000 in a vector named prime num so i can pass the i can call the sieve function and pass the prime num vector with it uh, via reference so that whatever changes i can do in this function that all changes reflect in the vector also in the main vector also okay so i can pass it via reference this is important so i can store all the prime numbers in this vector up to 1001 means up to 1000 or 1001 both are correct so after that i am just traversing through the main array mean that is given to us nums array and finding all the prime uh, finding all the prime factors of numbers one by one so how can i do this so how can i do this let me explain you okay so let us suppose let us suppose i have a number 24 and i want to find all the prime factor of this number so what i am doing is since i have all the prime numbers up to 24 okay means uh, i have pre computed all the prime numbers so i have all the prime numbers up to 24 and these are 2 3 5 7 8 so on okay so i am just checking one by one means which are the prime factors so first i am checking from 2 that is it divisible by 2 or not so 
since 24 is divided by 2 so I can divide it by 2 and store it so 24 by 2 it will be 12 so since it is divisible by 2 and 2 is a prime number so 2 is one of its prime factor so I can store 2 and again 12 is again divided by 2 so I can divide it by 2 and store 2 again so it will be 6 6 is again divided by 2 it will be 3 so I can store 2 again and 3 is divided by 3 and when I am getting 1, when I am getting the result 1, I can break the loop, I can break the while condition, I can terminate from the loop. Means in this way, I can store all the prime factors, okay. So the prime factors of 24 are 2 and 3. Since 24 is equal to 2 cube into 3. So in this way I can store all the prime factors of 24 okay this is what I am doing means I can store means there are many ways of uh, storing of getting the prime factors but this is one of the way means you can do it by using you can do it by using many ways this is one of them okay so I can insert all the values in set why we can insert all the values in set because we have to we have to ignore the we have to ignore the duplicate values and set will do this because set only stores the uh, distinct numbers means it, uh, it 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 ignores the duplicate value that's why i can store all the values in set and after that i can just return the s dot size now i am returning s dot size so because s is because our set stores all the prime factors of the numbers and i have to return the size means how many num how many prime factors are there means so that's why I'm just returning s dot size. Okay. So yeah, that's it for this problem.